Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman, and in this video I'm going to take a look at this, the URX P41D from Sony. This is Sony's latest dual-channel UWPD radio mic receiver. Now, I've been using the UWPD radio microphones for many, many years now, and I really, really like them. They've never let me down, they work very reliably, and they have really good interference-free range. Generally, they'll work over many hundreds of feet, so they're working well in large exhibition centers, conference halls, uh, theaters, and things like that to go from the front to the back of the theater, even when there is a performance on with an audience without any major dramas. And a big part of the reason for that is that these use frequencies that are set aside for radio microphones. The other commonly available small, much lower cost microphones that you can find on the market tend to use 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequencies, the same frequencies as used by everybody's mobile phone to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Those have a much shorter range. And because they're sharing the same frequencies as a Wi-Fi router, or mobile phones, etc., if you're ever in a very busy place, such as a festival, an event with lots and lots of people, then you may find you have a lot of interference issues and the range drops considerably, or they may not even work at all. The other issue with those is because they use a very high frequency, two and a half gigahertz, is that the signal is blocked by objects, which includes people. So if your presenter is wearing the transmitter and they turn away from you so that the transmitter is shielded from the receiver, the signal will drop out and that wireless microphone won't work. That doesn't happen with these. I find that I can use these always at over 100 feet or so, 30 meters, reliably, consistently, and even if the presenter has it on their belt pack, on their back or behind them, I don't have any problems. So for me, that's one of the key reasons why I prefer to use these, is reliability, consistency. Very important. Now the URX P41D is a dual channel receiver, and it can work with Sony's MI shoe system. To use this with the MI shoe, it's very simple. So there is a connector on the back here, and you simply add this adapter, the SMAD SMAD P5, to the little port on the back of the receiver, just to screw it on. And then this will go on to any camera with a Sony MI shoe, whether that's an FX6 or an FX9, FX3 or FX30, to give you two channels of radio mic. And there is also an additional connector here for a third microphone, a third wired microphone. So you can have up to three microphones at the same time going into the camera. Now, generally I only use the two, but having that third one there can be useful for some situations. When this on the camera powered by the MI shoe, it's going to run off the power from the camera battery. So it will run as long as the camera battery lasts. If you don't want to power it that way, then you have an AA battery pack that slides on and off. This takes two AA batteries, simply slides on like that, and this runs off the AA batteries and a pair of good quality um, AA batteries with both channels working will give you about six hours of use, typically reliably. And a big benefit of this over the smaller, lower cost radio microphones is that you don't have to wait for this to recharge. You simply put on two new AA batteries and you just carry on and continue. Or if you're using it on the MI shoe, it will run off the camera battery until the camera battery goes flat put a fresh battery on the camera and you're off and you're running again. With the really small microphones, you have to recharge the receiver periodically. So you have to stop. You can't shoot while you're recharging the receiver or the transmitter. So that's a big benefit of these. These are very easy to use. All you need to do to pair this to a new receiver is to press the scan button on here. And this will then start searching for a clear frequency within the groups that it's set to use. And once it finds a clear frequency, it's going to ask you to pair with the receiver using NFC. So the, the belt pack transmitters, the new style transmitters have NFC. So this is now asking to pair. 
You probably heard that buzzing. They vibrate to tell you that they're now paired and you get a message on here to say that they're paired and you're ready to go. It's as simple as that. So very, very easy to set up and to use these. There are switches on the top of the receiver to turn on and off each of the two channels. So if you're only using one channel, you can turn the other one off. And if you're running off batteries, that will mean that your batteries will last longer. So that's a really nice feature. There is a headphone port, so you can plug your headphones in directly to the receiver for monitoring. Very useful for when you're troubleshooting connections. So if you've got bad audio on the camera and you're trying to figure out whether it's the connection between the microphone and the camera, if you plug the headphones directly into the receiver, you can eliminate that connection by seeing whether the problem exists on the receiver or not. The other nice thing about these, the UWPD and the URX41D in particular, is that now we have a digital output. So the way these microphones work is that in the transmitter, there is something called a compander and a, that compresses the audio and that compression improves things like the, the, the S sound, the sibilance, the S sound in the audio. It's then transmitted by analog to the receiver. The receiver then has a compander in it that uncompresses that audio, restores the full quality of the audio, and then it can pass it to the camera either as a conventional analog signal, or if you're using the MI shoe and you're using an FX6 in particular, you can turn this switch to digital and then the output to the camera is digital. And if you're using it with the FX6, you get a really handy display of the battery level of the transmitters on the camera's LCD screen. So that's the URX P41D dual channel UWPD radio mic receiver from Sony. Very useful device. I really like it because it's using frequencies set aside for radio mics and broadcasting type applications. So you have fewer interference issues, you have better range. If you're using the MI shoe adapter on FX6 or FX9, you still have two, two more inputs on the camera via the XLR, so you can have four channels of audio going into the camera very simply and very easily. And they're reliable, robust, and they just work, which is what you want. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, do please subscribe, and there will be more videos on other products coming for me in the near future, so do keep checking back. Thank you for watching.